Oh, smudge. I love chrome, but it shows the smudges. But I don't know. It's worth it to me. No, you need a rag and Windex or something like that to clean it up. So today, over here at Seattle Copy Gear, we've had a few requests for us to just revisit the Nuovo Simonelli Musica. And here it is. It's a beautiful machine. It's a heat exchanger machine. Um, so that means that you can brew and steam at the same time. Volumetric control on the buttons up here, and you can control single shot, double shot, and the water. You can program all of that in, and I'll show you how to do that later. And then these two buttons here. This one shows you when there's no water in the tank, and this one shows you when the boiler is actually heating up the, the unit. So this comes a couple of different ways. You can get this machine tank only or plumbed in only. And you won't, get the same, you won't get the tank on the plumbed in, and you won't get the uh, opportunity to plumb in the tank version later. So you've got to buy it the way you want it, right out of the chute. It also comes with lit. And you can shut that off if you don't like it. Like that. And you can still have the machine on. Disco. Um, or it comes with black here, and that's autofill. Oh, I hit the button. Jeez. I turned it on. I'm not ready yet. Anyway, let's get back to this. This comes with um, the lit section here in white, or you can get it unlit and it'll have black. The casing will be the same. It'll still be the polished stainless steel. You'll still have the volumetric and all that same stuff. Back here is where the water tank is built in. And this is a three liter water tank. It's quite large. And then on the inside, you've got a copper and brass boiler and that is a two liter boiler. Keeps up with the demand that you have going on. Hot water dispenses out of here. Your volumetric buttons steam out of here. And this steam arm, I'm gonna turn it this way, comes with a four tip. This is the same tip that is used on the uh, Barista Championship machines. Nuovo, Simonelli, um, all their machines are used for the Barista Champions, and this is the same steam tip, so you know you're getting the best of the best. It has a, uh, instead of a knob for turning on, it's a lever like that for steam. It locks on. Drip tray down here, which is a little bit difficult to get out. I noticed that. There. There are two little notches here, but that comes out for cleaning. It's a quite a large drip tray, actually, right there. This machine also has that three-way solenoid valve, which comes down into here that when you get done with dispensing your, your brew, relieves the pressure up in the brew head, sends the excess moisture from the basket back down into the drip tray. Uh, stainless steel casing, like I said, really, it has a look that's very different, <coughs> excuse me, very different than most espresso machines, but I quite, I quite like it. I think it's a a very stylish machine. It's nice looking. Has a pressure gauge down in here. Tells you what's going on inside the boiler. And right now it's at about, it's in between 1 and 1.5, which is where it should be. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, it has water that goes through the brew head. It doesn't have the conventional E61 brew head, but it acts in the same way where water does siphon through it. The hot water from the boiler keeps that hot. 58 millimeter uh, professional size. Portafilter uh, comes with a single and a double. That's because I was trying to brew earlier when I wasn't supposed to be. Kind of the nice, one of the nice things they do on this portafilter, if you notice, when you put it like that, it has an angled handle. When you, if you should put it on a mat or something like that, it's going to remain level, which is kind of nice. Um, this is not pod compatible. You can put a kit on it for it. On a machine like this, I don't think you're probably too apt to want to do pods with it, but hey, something for everybody. We've had it happen. So let's see how she performs. Let me get some milk. We'll grind up some coffee. Stay tuned and we'll just show you how to make a drink on this bad boy. So like I said, you can brew and steam at the same time if you're talented. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> like with any, you want to purge out any moisture that's in there. Before you start steaming, whoop, 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 whoop. not so much steam all at once there, Gail. The nice thing about this machine is 
I can multitask because I don't actually have to turn that off. It does pre-infusion, wait time, and then brew time. So it does it all. purge that out like I just did. I did it inside the rag. That might be running a little bit long. I don't know how it's programmed. Looks a little bit long. Autofill. When you use the water in this, if I was to make water come out of there, it's autofilling the uh, autofilling the boiler so you don't burn it up. Alright. That looks nice. This happens to be Intelligentsia's coffee, which I was messing around with earlier. It was quite good. <gasps> ah, ooh, ah, ah. Got it. Spilled it. <laughs> well, you know, more intent on the art than I was the overflow. And I didn't, well, I overflowed, but I didn't really get good art. But so what? So, that's the Musica, my new Elba Seminelli. Built in Italy, really a great machine. I wouldn't hesitate to put one of these on my countertop. That's another thing to look for. Check your dimensions on our webpage. Um, this is a taller machine than some, so you might not have a lot of clearance. Check it out. It's a great machine. Get a good grinder to go with it. And also, sign up on our YouTube channel. It's a good thing. We love it, and we love you. Thanks a lot for watching. Okay.